Vocabulary. Carbohydrate. Monosaccharide. Polysaccharide. Glucose. Starch. Cellulose. This video is all about carbohydrates. And carbohydrates, what exactly does the term carbohydrate mean? Let's write it out. Carbohydrate. A carbohydrate, let's break it down. Carbohydrate is a word that's actually a combination of two different words. Carbo, which comes from, what do you think? That's right, carbon. And hydrate. Have you ever had a coach or an adult tell you you need to stay hydrated? When they tell you that, what do you think it means? It means that you need to drink plenty of water. Because hydrate is a term we use to talk about water molecules. So hydrate refers to water. In fact, carbohydrates are compounds which have carbon and water that make them up. In fact, most, most uh, carbohydrates have a basic formula and a ratio, actually. And ratio is 1 to 2 to 1. That's a ratio, which means they've got one carbon atom, two hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom in relationship to each other. What I mean by that is that there are certain molecules, which we're going to be talking about actually in the next few slides, which follow this ratio. You multiply uh, this number 1 by 6, then you'd have to multiply this by 6, and you multiply this by 6, and what you end up with is C6H12, because there's 2 times 6, O6. And so they follow a basic, a basic ratio of one carbon atom to one molecule of water, which is two hydrogen atoms and one uh, atom of oxygen. What are the monomers of carbohydrates? Well, a monomer of a sugar molecule, because carbohydrates are sugar molecules. Let me write that out for you so you can understand that. Carbohydrates are sugar molecules. They are what make up the sweet things in your food. The monomer of a carbohydrate is called a monosaccharide. A monosaccharide is, let's break down that word, mono and saccharide. Mono, from a previous video, you should remember mono means one or single. Saccharide means sugar. So a monosaccharide is a single sugar molecule. Oftentimes, we consider these to be simple molecules, which means they're not very complex, although I'm going to show you some images here and they're going to look complex, but I'm going to show you images in the next slide which are even more complex, which is why we consider monosaccharides to be simple sugars. The one carbohydrate, which the monomer for carbohydrates, the, the basic one that you must know is glucose. Glucose is the monomer for carbohydrates, the basic one that you should know. And it has a chemical formula which you should memorize because you're going to be seeing it later. C6H12O6. A glucose molecule has that chemical formula. And it's important, why you're going to be seeing it later, is because that molecule is the main uh, source of usable energy for living things. It's the main source of usable energy for living things. Most living things use this molecule right here to get the energy that they need. Let me show you some pictures. Now, I, I don't, I need to change my pen here. I don't want to scare you and I don't want to surprise you, but I'm going to show you some pretty complex pictures. And here's what I want you to get out of it. This is one, two, three, four different ways to look at a glucose molecule. 
let's actually count this here. You have one carbon, two carbons, three carbons, four carbons, five carbons, six carbons in this. We have six, see, six carbons. Let's count the hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many oxygens are we going to have? You should be identifying we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have C6H12O6. That's one way of looking at a glucose molecule. Glucose uh, it just wants to show you that there are single bonds between these hydrogen and, and carbon molecules. This is another way of looking at it, an another way and another way. These are all glucose molecules. There are other simple sugars that I want to show you. So we're going to ditch this picture here. And we are going to throw that away. I'm going to throw that over here if I can. And I'm going to pull up for you this molecule. This is a molecule called galactose. It is different from glucose. And there's also a molecule over here fructose. It is also different from galactose and glucose, but they're all simple sugars. And the reason I'm showing you these pictures is not to confuse you, but just to help you understand their glucose is our main monomer, but there are others. Li like galactose or fructose. When you put together a glucose and a fructose, you get sucrose. When those combine, you get sucrose, which is table sugar, the stuff you put on your Cheerios in the morning. And sucrose would be considered, these are all monosaccharides. Sucrose would be considered, because it has two sugars, it would be considered a disaccharide. And monomers of carbohydrates make up polymers of carbohydrates. The polymer of carbohydrates are called polysaccharides. Polysaccharides. You should be able to start figuring out what that name means. Saccharide, we just learned, means what? And poly means many, coming from the Greek language. Many sugar. So polysaccharide is a sugar which is made up of many simple sugars, a bunch of different sugar molecules. Examples of polysaccharides include glycogen. Let me show you a picture of glycogen here. And the reason I'm showing you that picture of glycogen is, again, not to confuse you, but I want you to see each of these is a glucose molecule. And when glucose bonds to itself, it can form lots and lots of different structures. Each of these gray circles is a glucose molecule. Each of these green ones is a special glucose molecule, along with the red ones, which are special glucose molecules. But that's glycogen. And glycogen, glycogen, is energy storage for animals. Animals will take all the extra glucose that they have and they'll pump it into these molecules, which, which are like energy storage. Lots and lots of glucose. Lots and lots of glucose. All of this is glucose. All together in one big long molecule that's an easy way to store the glucose because glucose is energy storage. There are other types of polysaccharides. Plants use starch. Plants use starch. Starch is a polysaccharide, which is a form of energy storage for plants. And I don't have a picture of starch. I apologize uh, at this time. I don't have a picture of starch, but what I do want you to understand is starch is energy storage for plants. And finally, I'm going to show you a picture here of cellulose. Cellulose is a, a sugar based polysaccharide. It's a sugar, it's a polysaccharide. It's made up of a lot of different sugar molecules. 
and it makes up structural. Each of these is a uh, special sugar molecule, a single sugar molecule that's bonded together in sheets to make cellulose. Cellulose is, let me see if I can move this picture off the screen here, and we'll go back up, back up again. Cellulose makes up structure for plants. Plants have things called cell walls, and in those cell walls, there's a, a, a molecule that's needed to give strength. And that molecule is cellulose. The way it's structured, the way it's all bonded together, lots of different monosaccharides put together make a polysaccharide, make up cellulose, which is structural, a structural form of sugar in plants. What are the functions and uses of carbohydrates? Well, first and most important, putting a star here, carbohydrates are the main source of usable energy for all living things. Not everything uses glucose, but most things use glucose. And they use glucose to break down. It's a simple sugar. It's a monosaccharide to make energy for living things. Also, a second use for carbohydrates is for structure. Structure like things found in plants. Plants use special arrangements of sugar molecules called cellulose to make the ability to grow and, and make bigger units. So it's kind of like a building blocks for trees. They need uh, cellulose to be able to, to build themselves up. Those are the main functions or uses of sugar. So let's review. Carbon is in carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are carbon-based molecules that have a carbon to two hydrogen to one oxygen ratio. Generally speaking, one carbon to two hydrogen to one oxygen. It's a one to two to one ratio. Carbohydrates are they have their monomers are things like glucose they are simple sugars and there's other things like galactose and fructose the polymers are things like glycogen in animals for energy storage starch in plants for enemy energy storage cellulose in plants for plant structure and the uses or functions of sugar are energy and structure. This is Aaron Willems. Thank you for watching and do your best to make a positive difference in somebody's life today.